Hey everybody, welcome back to Micro Beer Reviews. Today we've got a beer out of the Appalachian Mountain Brewery uh, out of Boone, North Carolina. Uh, this is their Boone Creek. It's a blonde ale. It's 4.7% uh, ABVs, 19 IBUs. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do it. Upload all the time. Appreciate you watching. We'd love it if you'd give us a like right now or at the end of the video. So this is, um, this is it says, an ode to the creek along uh, where we built our brewery. Boone Creek Blonde Ale is a refreshing blonde ale with a zest of orange, a hint of wildflower honey for a southern twist. It actually won a gold medal recently as well, which I thought was pretty cool. I got this in a multi-12 pack. I'll leave the link to that video down below. Um, we're reviewing all the beers in it. It's uh, April 2022. I've never had this beer. I've never heard of this beer, but I can tell you that a little bit of honey along with some orange zest should be rather interesting. Um, I definitely consider Blonde Ales to be obviously lower ABVs, lower IBUs like what we just talked about, um, not as viscous. It's exactly what I thought it would look like. It's kind of got a yellow tint, almost like honey. Um, it's got a perfectly white frothy head on it, big bubbles, little bubbles, decent amount of carbonation. It smells really good actually. You can smell the honey for sure. Um, you can definitely smell the orange. Maybe a little bit of lemon. Um, it's got a kind of a biscuity, malty back to it. It smells really, it smells way better than I thought it was going to smell like. So without further ado, cheers. Let's get into the glass. I missed my lip there. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Um, it's got a what I call that crisp, dry finish to it. The honey is perfect. It's not too much. I, I don't like it when they say, oh, you put in this wonderful, you know, local coffee or this local chocolate or this local cinnamon, in this case, this local honey, and you can't even taste it. Um, it's just, it just gets overpowered by all the other flavors. The honey in here is really nicely done. And actually, one more. I typically don't like orange in beer, but I really like this. It's subtle. It's there. It's not super tart. Uh, it's, nor is it super sugary sweet. It's perfectly balanced with the honey. Um, there, you definitely can tell there's kind of a, a one, a single backbone hop in there. Again, it's got a nice, but subtle malty finish to it. It's very drinkable. It's extremely smooth. Um, this is really, really good. I am not typically a fan of Blondales, uh, but for 4.7%, drink this in the sun, the lake, the beach, grilling out. I rate my, my beers between one and five. This is honestly the best blonde ale that I can think of, I, probably I've ever had, for sure, uh, in 2022. Now, in fairness, I don't drink a lot of them, but in a multi-12 pack like I bought this in, this is a phenomenal ad addition to it, com coming into the summer months and uh, having a nice, refreshing, very well-brewed beer. So if you've tried it, leave, leave comments down below. Um, we, I'd love to get some comments on this one. So again, if this is one that people uh, in, the mountains of North Carolina get on draft or you know you can uh, buy in 12 packs or fill growlers with I'd love to get some more feedback on on how you uh, would rate this so again we appreciate you watching we upload all the time hit the like button and we'll see you again real soon cheers